Everton's final league game before Christmas and Carlo Ancelotti's side are flying high. A win tonight takes them second and it would be a third successive Premier League victory. Everton have won seven of their 13 Premier League fixtures. Arsenal have lost seven of their 13. And it was a year ago this weekend when today's managers sat in the stands at Goodison to witness a nil-nil draw between the two clubs just prior to the official appointments of Carlo Ancelotti as Everton boss and Mikel Arteta to the Arsenal hot seat. Well, two clubs who've met in each of the last 77 seasons in England's top flight. And Everton's aim tonight is to inflict more misery on an Arsenal side, surprisingly struggling in the wrong half of the Premier League table. The permitted 2,000 Evertonians are inside Goodison Park to roar Everton on. Here's Davis. And he's allowed to come forward, he'll have a crack at goal here, and why not? What an effort from Michael Keane. Wow, he got hold of that all right. And that was close to giving Everton the lead inside quarter of an hour. A thunderous strike, and so, so close to finding its way into the corner of Leno's net. Charleston inside for Davis Alex Roby wanted it, gets it puts it into the dangerous area and it's a goal for Everton Dominic Calvert-Lewin is celebrating because he as always is there inside the penalty area to sniff out a goal Dominic Calvert-Lewin on his 150th appearance for Everton celebrates the goal. They are rewarded. Alex Iwobi here. And Dominic Calvert-Lewin saw it come off. Rob holding and into the net. It may well go down as an own goal. But Dominic Calvert-Lewin got that initial touch. And that will go down as a Rob holding own goal, I feel. Gary Nina diving, stooping to head away. And the referee has pointed to the penalty spot. After the clearance from Yerry Nina, it was Maitland Niles that went down under the challenge. And referee Andre Mariner had no hesitation in pointing directly to the penalty spot. Can Jordan Pickford perform the heroics here for Everton Pepe against Pickford now Pickford goes the wrong way Pepe casually slots it into the Gladys Street net Calvert-Lewin doing well Alexi Wobie now Mason Holgate, can he get quality into the penalty area here? Decides to pull it outside the box for Calvert-Lewin, who goes for goal! And that's a good save from Leno. That was on target all right from Calvert-Lewin. He struck it very well left-footed. And it was goal-bound, but for that from Leno in the Arsenal goal. Final minute of the first half. Wilfie Ziggerton with Everton's first corner of the game. And it's in. Everton have gone in front. Yerry Mina rises to direct his header past Leno and into the nets to put Everton back in front. Everton's first corner of the first half came in the last minute of the first half and Yerry Mina was there to meet it. A perfect connection. Ziggerson picked him out and Mina did the rest. Everton 2, 
Arsenal 1. Right on half time. Yeri Mina beating that superbly well. Got in front of his man, and Leno could do nothing about that. He'd made the great save that resulted in the corner, but he wasn't good enough to keep this out. 2 1 Everton, and Mina's second of the season for the Blues. Everton desperately seeking the three points here, leading by two goals to one. There's a foul on Calvert Lewin. Joe Willock charging into Calvert Lewin on uh, set piece duty again. In it goes, Keane's all alone but couldn't reach it. Look for a moment there as though another Everton centre back might get on the score sheet. He just couldn't stretch far enough to reach this from Gilfie Sigurdsson. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, real persistence there, and can he release Richarlison? Yes is the answer, can he get a shot on goal? No is the answer to that, because Maitland Niles got in his way. Everton do have a corner. Ten minutes of the 90 remain. Gilfie Ziggerton to take for Everton. towards Michael Keane, it'll come out to Alex Iwobi and his drive deflected behind for another Everton corner how oh, he'd love to get on the score sheet against his former club Willian now Maitland-Niles in goes the cross, Willock's there to head it wide Joe Willock Thomas has substitutes in this second half. And on the end of this, Maitland Niles ball in. Maitland Niles driven across the face of goal and nobody able to get a touch, thankfully. Even Pickford. Still danger here. Saka, that's a great save from Pickford. Saka's effort there was goal bound. Referee has another glance at his watch. Six and a half minutes almost played of stoppage time. Here in Tierney. That is it. Everton have beaten Arsenal by two goals to one. It's a third successive league victory for Everton. And Everton are flying. They move up to second place in the Premier League. Holding his own goal on 22 minutes. Cancelled out by Pepe ten minutes before half time. But Mina's header means that Evertonians can have themselves a Yerry Merry Christmas indeed. Mina's header in the final minute of the first half. It turned out to be the winning goal. Everton were defensively disciplined in that second half to keep Arsenal at bay. And Jordan Pickford made a very important late save. Arsenal had it the post through David Luiz. Everton had moments of their own. But Carlo Ancelotti delighted with the overall outcome here. Everton have beaten Arsenal. It's finished here. Everton 2, Arsenal 1. <laughs>